Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and this is the Puddle Jumper Round Pin from Lost Surfboards and uh, Matt Violas. The, uh, this board, you could, obviously you can tell it's an offshoot from the original Puddle Jumper, and uh, what they did is rather than going into a, uh, a bump squash tail like on the standard Lost Puddle Jumper or a wing squash tail on the uh, LibTech Puddle Jumper, they just brought it back into a nice full-figured round pin uh, about the same width maybe a touch narrower but a, almost the same width right here at the front fins but then they bring it in uh, behind that why did they do that they wanted to make a board that had the speed of the puddle jumper the grovel of the puddle jumper or almost as much grovel as a puddle jumper but then uh, give the board more range on the upper end a lot of people love this board as they're you know, their summer fish style board. Uh, they wanted to have more range out of, out of one board. Or if the puddle jumper standard with the squash tail is your main board and you're looking to get a compliment for it for better waves uh, to give a board for that as well. Because you see a lot of people riding fish not only in small waves, but in bigger waves as well. And a board like this is something that gives you that familiar feel, uh, gives you the paddle ability, uh, the stability when you're standing up. If you, and also if you stand up in the wrong place, uh, and the ability to get that glide and that speed in, uh, in smaller, medium, and, and now even better, better sized surf. So talking about this board a little bit, uh, the sizing on the Puddle Jumper round pin, if you have a Puddle Jumper or similar style board to the Puddle Jumper, you're gonna be riding this about two inches longer to get the same volume. So the board that I, that I chose to ride when I was down in Puerto Rico was the uh, 6.0. And if you look at uh, the volume on this, it's 40 and change. Uh, that's about a 510 standard puddle jumper. So you got 510, it's got 40 and change and 6.0. So it's about a two inch up jump in the uh, sizing to get the same volume. Two, depending, two to maybe three, depending on which model and sizing that you're looking at. But that's the upsize. Uh, while I was down there in Puerto Rico, was there for about a week, uh, had a real big swell at the beginning. Uh, and then in the in-between, the first big one and then the giant one at the end was when I got to ride this board. Got three solid days on it and uh, in a bunch of different conditions. And it, it definitely extends the range of, of what you can use this style of board for. Uh, as far as what, how the board performed in better surf, it performed everything that Law says it's going to do in better surf. It, it performed really well. Uh, as far as the board holding in in better waves, uh, you know, not bouncing out and also really being able to drive the board hard in better waves, it, it definitely worked well in those. The surprising thing actually was how well the board worked in, in not so good waves. You know, immediately like when you think round pin, when you're going to this tail shape, you think, all right, well, there goes the low end. Um, the thing that blew me away about this board is, is the very first time I surfed it, the waves were about, I don't know, about this big to maybe this, you know, kind of in this range. And there really wasn't much push to it. Uh, and I was like, well, I'm going to go take it out and just see how it works, you know, because at least I'll be able to tell if it has the same low end or not. Uh, super fast. And that's the first thing that you notice on the board. It gets into the waves really easy, but it just takes off down the line. So... In, in small waves, uh, speed to burn is your friend because the, the faster you get going, the more turns you're going to be able to do and then also the harder you're going to be able to turn. But that was, I mean, just an absolute mind blower how fast this board was uh, in waves that didn't really, you, you didn't really think you would be going fast. So it has, the board has a lot of built-in speed and really gets up and goes uh, like right off paddling into the wave. It just takes off and... A lot of the waves down there, I'm goofy foot, and a lot of the waves are rights. So a lot of the waves are backside, and backside in small waves is like the curse of all bigger surfers. Um, it's like the hardest thing to do as a bigger surfer. And this board more than made up for, uh, for my inability to grovel backside in small waves. It just took off in the, uh, in the small stuff. So that was a really cool thing to see. And that was both in, uh, you know, like glassy, small like really well-formed peelers, as well as um, mushier, blown out, like wind swell. Uh, it also worked out in, in that, uh, both of those kind of small wave 
combos worked well with this board. As we got it into bigger waves, uh, it, also, it also worked well. Or when the set waves rolled in on either of those brakes, it held in really good. It had the speed uh, down the line and the, and the snappiness off the top. The only place that I found the round pin lacking in compared to the squash tail was in really flat face surf. So now we're not talking about size. We're just talking about like the flatness of the wave. So if you're in a really like flat face wave, um, the, the squash is, especially backside is really nice to push off of in your, in your turns coming back around. And, and also I would assume front side too, if, if there had been more lefts, but the round pin, if it's a smaller wave and just ultra flat face, like obviously you're going to want the squash, but anything else that has a bit of punch, you really don't notice um, lacking it. And a lot of, you know, if you've got beach breaks or anything like where the, where the wave throws a bit or is, you know, not just like this and crumbling all the time, um, the, the round pin seemed seem to work really well for just about everything. Uh, again, the, the upsize on it is, uh, is two inches for most of them, maybe three, depending on the volume. Uh, it's a little bit less nose area right here, which helps on, on, those better, on those better waves. And for the majority of the time, I rode this, uh, this board as a, as a quad. Um, I also did ride it as a, as a thruster, and it did work well as a, uh, as a thruster. Uh, but definitely a little bit faster as a quad and, and definitely brought the board, uh, gave the board more low end on the, on the smaller, uh, mushier days as well as a, as a quad. So it's the Puddle Jumper Round Pin from Lost. Throwing it out there, it's going to definitely be one of their best-selling boards uh, this season and, and for many seasons to come. A really good all-around board, great single board if you live in a place with, you know, small to average waves. And uh, a board you should definitely think about adding to your quiver. Check it out. So... If you want more information on this board, you can check it out on our website, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing, or you can give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000. Thanks for tuning in.